This video will cover difficult questions regarding the topic of higher order derivatives. This is the first one. Differentiate implicitly 4x to the power of 3 plus 4y to the power of 3 times y prime equals 0. 4y cubed times y prime equals minus 4x cubed. Then divide by 4y cubed on each side. y prime equals minus x cubed over y cubed. y second prime is using the quotient rule d dx of minus x cubed times y cubed minus minus x cubed times d dx of y cubed over y cubed then squared equals minus 3x squared times y cubed Make positive x cubed times 3y squared times y prime over y to the power of 6. y second prime is minus 3x squared y cubed plus 3x cubed times y squared times y prime was this one. Then minus x cubed over y cubed over y to the power of 6 equals minus 3x squared y cubed minus 3x to the power of 6 times cancelled 1 is left over over y over y to the power of 6 then times y over y equals first one minus 3x squared y to the power of 4 minus 3x to the power of 6 over y to the power of 7 equals we can factor take minus 3x squared then y to the power of 4 plus x to the power of 4 over y to the power of 7 equals minus 3x squared times this one was k over y to the power of 7 question 2 y prime is n times x to the power of n minus 1. y second prime is n times n minus 1 times x to the power of n minus 2. y third prime is n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times x to the power of n minus 3. Fourth prime is n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3 times x to the power of n minus 4. What is the nth derivative now? When y prime is n, y second prime is n times n minus 1, y third prime is n times n minus 1 times n minus 2, y fourth prime is n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3. n minus the number 1 less than the number of derivatives. So, y n prime equals n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times until n minus n minus 1. Please remember, n minus the number is 1 less than the number of derivatives. Now compare the powers. Prime is minus 1. Second prime is minus 2. Third prime is minus 3. Fourth prime is minus 4. Then nth prime is x to the power of n minus n. And this one is n minus n plus 1, the cancelled 1. That means n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times 1 times x to the power of 0 equals this one is decreasing numbers from n to 1, which is n factorial times this one is 1. The final answer is n factorial. Question 3. y equals x to the power of minus 1. Then y prime equals minus x to the power of minus 2 y second prime is 2 times x to the power of minus 3. y third prime is minus 6 
x to the power of minus 4, while force prime is 24x to the power of minus 5. If we keep going like this, you won't find the final answer. We have to find the pattern. We can rewrite as y prime equals minus 1 times x to the power of minus 2. y second prime is minus 1 times minus 2 times x to the power of minus 3. y third prime is minus 1 times minus 2 times minus 3 times x to the power of minus 4. y fourth prime is minus 1 times minus 2 times minus 3 times minus 4 times x to the power of minus 5. Then equals minus 1 to the power of 1 times 1 times x to the power of minus 2. The second one, minus 1 squared times 1 times 2 times x to the power of minus 3. So the third one is minus 1 cubed times 1 times 2 times 3 times x to the power of minus 4. The last one is minus 1 to the power of 4 times 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times x to the power of minus 5. Can you see it? Now I will show you the final steps. Minus 1 to the power of 1, 1 factorial times x to the power of minus 2. Minus 1 squared times 2 factorial times x to the power of minus 3. Minus 1 cubed times 3 factorial times x to the power of minus 4. Minus 1 to the power of 4 times 4 factorial times x to the power of minus 5. So, what is the nth derivative now? y to the power of n prime equals 1 is 1 and 1 factorial. 2 is 2 and 2 factorial, 3 is 3 and 3 factorial, 4 is 4 and 4 factorial, so minus 1 to the power of n times n factorial, and x to the power of 1 is minus 2, 2 is minus 3, 3 is minus 4, 4 is minus 5, then n is minus n plus 1. Question 4. Using the product rule, f prime of x equals d dx of x cubed times g of x squared plus x cubed times d dx of g of x squared equals 3x squared times g of x squared plus x cubed times g prime of x squared times x squared prime equals 3x squared times g of x squared plus this one is 2x then 2x times x cubed is 2x to the power of 4 times g prime of x squared then f second prime of x equals 3x squared prime times g of x squared plus 3x squared times g of x squared prime plus 2x to the power of 4 prime times g prime of x squared plus 2x to the power of 4 times g prime of x squared prime equals first one 6x times g of x squared plus 3x squared times this one, g prime of x squared times x squared prime plus 8x cubed times g prime of x squared plus 2x to the power of 4 times this one, g second prime of x squared times x squared prime equals 6x g of x squared plus x squared prime is 2x then 2x times 3x squared is 6x cubed times g prime of x squared plus 8x cubed times g prime of x squared plus this one is 2x. Then 2x times 2x to the power of 4 is 4x to the power of 5 
times g second prime of x squared. The final answer is 6x g of x squared plus this together 14x to the power of 3 times g prime of x squared plus 4x to the power of 5 times g second prime of x squared. This is the last one. Differentiate implicitly. 3 plus x prime times y plus x times y prime plus 2y times y prime equals 0. 3 plus x prime is 1. Then y plus xy prime plus 2y y prime equals 0. Then we can factor. Take our y prime x plus 2y equals minus y minus 3. Then y prime equals minus y plus 3 over x plus 2y. Then dy dx when 1 comma minus 2 equals minus minus 2 plus 3 over 1 plus 2 times minus 2 equals minus 1 over 1 minus 4, which is minus 3. The final answer is 1 over 3. Y second prime is d dx of minus y minus 3 times x plus 2y minus minus y minus 3 times d dx of x plus 2y over x plus 2y squared equals the first one is minus y prime second one is 0 times x plus 2y minus minus y minus 3 times 1 plus 2 times y prime over x plus 2y squared then d squared y over dx squared when 1 comma minus 2 equals minus y prime is 1 over 3 times x plus 2y is minus 4 then make positive y is minus 2 plus 3 times 1 plus 2 times y prime is 1 over 3 over x is 1 plus 2 times minus 2 then squared equals minus 1 over 3 times minus 3 plus 1 then 1 plus 2 over 3 over minus 3 squared which is 9 equals make positive 3 times 1, 3 times 1, 1, plus 1 plus 2 over 3 over 9, then times 3 over 3 equals, this is 2, that is a 6 plus 2 over 27. The final answer is 8 over 27. I hope this video has been helpful. This is the last of 3 videos covering higher order derivatives. Previous lesson linked in the description bar below. If you have any questions, please leave them in a comment below. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more.